The North Sea off the island of Zult, rough and wild, is the raw material for a unique product, the first German sea salt. The process starts by guiding North Sea water into a sedimentation pond where it remains until all suspended sediments have settled. From there, the North Sea water that is now free from suspended sediments enters into the buffer tanks. These tanks safeguard a continuous production. From the buffer tanks, the North Sea water enters via the water interface into the Terra Saline. Like all Terra water systems, Terra Saline does not need any chemicals at all and is easy to operate. All Terra water technologies work according to the principle of evaporation and condensation, imitating the natural water cycle to a great extent. North Sea water is being fed to the system via the mixing pond. In the mixing pond, the fresh North Sea water mingles with the concentrated one. The North Sea water enters into the evaporation unit. Here it is preheated in the condenser and heated up to a maximum of 95 degrees in the external heat exchanger. The hot raw water then rains down in the humidifier and enters into contact with colder air in reverse flow. During this process, the air is warmed up and humidified. This extremely humid air flows into the condenser where it cools down at the tubes with the colder raw water and releases its water by way of condensation. At the same time, the condensation heat is used for preheating the raw water in the tubes. This adds to the efficiency of the plant. The condensate is collected in a tank where it is available for further use. The cooler air re-enters into the humidifier and the cycle starts again. By means of the Terra water system, any water may be desalinated without chemicals, irrespective of the degree of its salination. This makes the Terra water technologies so special. To make sure that the salt and hardness precipitations do not block the system, all pipes of the Terra saline are continuously cleaned on load, which means during current operation. The concentrated raw water from the evaporator, the brine, is collected and fed into the Terra crystallizer. From there, it enters into the mixing pond, where it mingles with fresh North Sea water and is again fed to the evaporator unit. The salt that has precipitated in the Terra crystallizer and in the mixing pond is automatically scooped from the system and is available for further processing. Through the targeted control of concentration and temperatures in the entire system, Terra water achieves an excellent purity of the salt obtained. Furthermore, the control of the grain size is realized in this step. The freshly scooped salt enters into the drying drum after draining. Here the salt gets the desired dryness. For drying, the residual heat of the Terra saline is made use of. The air, air heat exchanger, like the entire system, is completely made of synthetic material to avoid any corrosion. All Terra water systems may be operated with the residual heat of other technical processes. Independent of the power source, they may easily be switched off and on again at any time. Every site has its own special basic conditions. That is why the Terra Water engineers closely cooperate with the responsible project managers on site at every step in planning. The result? Tailor-made system solutions that independently and reliably operate on site. Via the internet, Terra Water has direct access to its plants. Should there be a malfunction, the root cause analysis is directly sent to the operator on site. Additionally, Terra Water provides direct service on sites the world over, safeguarding your production. Salty groundwater, seawater, highly concentrated mineral wastewater, or biological wastewater from industry, Terra Water offers effective and eco friendly solutions to the desalination and concentration of any water. Terra Basic, Terra Solar, Terra Saline. Terra Organic, 100% chemical-free, modular, low-maintenance, reliable.